Hi guys, it's Bill Fields back with your latest video training tip. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics. You know I'm big on building a listing inventory. Today I want to talk to you about converting the expired listing owner, one of the greatest opportunities available in the business. See folks, our business is to help people with a need, right? Isn't that our job? Well, who has a bigger need? than somebody who's tried to sell their property and was unsuccessful. One third of the listings that are taken will expire without ever selling. See, we've got to change the way we see the expired listing owner. Too many real estate agents out there see the expired owner as a villain. I see him as a victim. I see him as somebody who needs my help. So my objective and your objective should be the same is to meet with the expired listing owners in your market and then demonstrate that you have a solution to their problem. What's their problem? They have a property they haven't been able to sell. So start out by building yourself a target list. Run all of your expireds for the past 12 months. Then cross-reference them against properties that have been relisted, properties that have been sold, and now you've got a group to start with. Now, every day you run the new MLS searches and you pull all the new expireds and you add them to a list. Now, look, you don't have to make cold calls to work with expired owners, but you do need to contact them. See, they can't choose you if they don't know you exist. So if you don't want to make calls, it's simple. Develop a letter postcard campaign. Now, what's the objective of a direct mail letter or postcard campaign? To give the expired owner a reason to call you so that you can then get the appointment. See, you've still got to get the appointments. You don't have to call them, but you've got to get the appointments. Now, if you're willing to make calls, all you've got to do is follow a few simple steps. Get to them first. Determine if they're still interested in selling. Ask them why they think their property didn't sell. Demonstrate that you feel empathy and then folks ask for an opportunity to get together. See Mr. and Mrs. Expired, I know why your property didn't sell and more importantly I know exactly what you folks need to do in order to get it sold. I'd be happy to share that information with you in return for you allowing me to come over and take a quick look at your property. Now I believe in fair trade. I believe that if you give them something it's easier for you to get something. What do I want? I want an appointment. So what can I give them? Develop yourself some ebooks. Develop yourself some information that they'll find valuable that you could trade in return for getting an appointment. Now folks, even if you're going to be one of those agents that does make calls, you're still going to have a letter or postcard a week program that you're going to need to implement because there's going to be sellers you can't reach or homeowners that you're not going to be able to get an appointment with. So look, all you need to do is get a system going, okay, whether you're going to mail or whether you're going to call. Regardless of who called who, once we get the appointment, we're going to follow some simple steps for converting the expired owner. You've got to have a good system for demonstrating how you can help them solve their problem. So the first thing you want to be able to do is show them five things that they should have done. Go through that old listing form and point out five things that they should have done differently. Once you've done that, show them your plan. What is your plan for creating maximum exposure for the property? Once you've shown them that, you've got to show them why price is part of the problem because folks, you and I know with expireds, price is almost always the primary problem. Then you got to offer them a guarantee. See, one of the things that expireds are concerned about are being stuck on the market again to go through the same thing they went through before. So offer them a guarantee that shows them they don't have to worry about that. Now, under no circumstances are you to take the property at the same price it just expired at. Ladies and gentlemen, going in there with a different marketing plan is not going to correct the fact that the property is priced incorrectly for today's buyers. So if you're going to work expired, you're going to have to be very strong at being able to show them why price is the problem and why we will not take it at the same price. But I don't want you to focus just on that. Remember, I want you to focus on the five things they should have done differently because we want to give them something and someone to blame other than just the price. Price is part of the problem, but it's not the sole problem. Now, once you've done that, you should have convinced them that you have a solution to their problem and you should be able to go for it with the steps necessary in order to get them on paper and get them sold so that you can have one more family you've been fortunate enough to help. Now, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Now, this is Bill Fields wishing you continued success and I look forward to seeing you in our next 
training video tip. Happy expired hunting, everybody.